back. Welcome back. Welcome back. How we go? How we go? Talk up. So this topic, um, it is, it is, I'm really pain that is because sometimes uh, I the Jeff Lover, but sometimes I think that it's it's enough that we stop blaming the government or stop blaming people for our own problems because now we they use our own hand, they carry our own wahala. Now, oil companies okay. and government who to blame for pollution? Before a oil company, an oil company comes into a settlement, they would come and speak with the indigents sure. and say, "This is what we want to do." For, for of them. of which of which the indigents will now lay their complaint. Story. Ah, we don't have farm, we don't have water, we don't have this. Which one? Which one? The story again? Now, I but it is for we don't have farm, we don't have water, them. we don't have um, what's it called? Uh, health care, we need school. Bam. The oil company will now give them money. What do you take? Do one mm. government go come, go come pass. Say, Oh, you're not agree. We don't agree. Do one. Then the people know that these people have laid pipes because they will not purposely open fuel into the river. They go lay their pipes. Now we go carry our hand with axe, go break them, open them. You don't want to spill, enter. I no, no, I disagree. Oh, guys, guys, see, let's 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 there's let's, man made spillage and there is spillage due okay. to negligence. Okay, wait, first, let's let's be honest, badly with maintained let's pipes. Wait. pipes. Oh, hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. there are badly maintained pipes, quite yeah. all right. I will not disagree with that point with you, but you will like, also agree with me that the amount of let's say, how would you call it, corporate negligence mm -hmm. is less compared to the amount of social nonchalancy stupid attitude greediness and our quick urge for wealth that drives us to do the things we do endangering ourselves and, and, and the community well um those communities won't be forced to start looting and busting pipelines if you had actually provided them with all those amenities where you just surround but they don't forget say these people they as build they wash, wash but they, they them. build them now build what's in they, they build schools they, they build hospitals they even they give them they, they give the local Are government Go let me ask you one question. Oh, let me ask you one question. Mm -hmm. My dad, my civil engineer, mm -hmm. my dad used to be a contractor for SPDC and NMPC. Correct. Understand? Mm -hmm. So, as a child growing up, I was privy to 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 being with him around these flow stations and these communities with the on paddock, you know, all the around yeah, 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 yeah. producing areas, uh, uh, blah blah blah, uh, 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 development, yeah, development yeah. commission. Yeah. Now they get um communities with the under on paddock. Okay. You know, there's one particular um town in this particular town in particular, Owaza. I, I, I remember there vividly because Popsy had a contract there and I remember. Now, Shell Mm. gets a lot of interest that they had a few flow stations there okay, okay. and blah 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 okay. now if you enter this community uh, from one of the roads the roads they very terrible okay then inside the community the roads they smooth beautiful roads okay but one thing they noticeable as you they enter that town yeah no overhead nepal light um wire past that town they don't get electricity. Uh, so wait for it. Wait, wait. wait. I know you're talking about. The town don't get electricity. After all that fine fighting, what you call? Yes, yeah, yes, no. I'm telling you, road smooth like die. Hmm? Mm. Now, the these children in that community as a then, if they see moto, they, they rush after moto, they wave moto. <laughs> you know that kind of bushness. Okay, ball did the community quite alright. But we we shall the oil company provide yeah mm -hmm. all data mm -hmm. perfectly good mm -hmm. now when you talk about hospital they get what did they call cottage hospital mm -hmm. cottage hospital first like aid. glorified first aid, first aid, first aid um, uh, uh, glorified dispensary you know when you go to school get dispensary preferred or something uh, mm -hmm. all those guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. glorified that kind of thing now nine day there i'm telling you the best structure waiting for that village that like the house that the chief house wood upstairs you know these guys are so were so backward back then and 
SPDC the only way, the only reason why they tie their roads be so, so that, that their contractors okay. and their inspectors and whatever feet get easy access. And this town is is talking between um um Aba and Port Harcourt. It's just about ten minutes, fifteen minutes from um Oibo. Okay. You know, that's around, uh, I think Oibo is now in Bielsa, I when it's called by Bielsa or something, I don't know, mm -hmm. what is And um, Potako is a very funky town. So, it's like 30 minutes from Potako. Okay. Now, so, when these guys, they come from Potako or wherever they are based, mm -hmm. when they are going to that area, so they could get smooth access. So, them giving you good roads, they were not thinking about the community at all, they were thinking about their own personal interests. Okay. Hmm. Because if you were thinking about the community, you would have been thinking about how to... And you know, you know flow stations now? Now, dear way, they you don't hear of gas flaring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I live um, less than a thousand meters I'm from sorry, glass, gas flaring sites when I visited my dad, okay. one of those okay. companies. Wait, make I tell you what I did try to tell you finish. Now, this, with the top, these companies are not to blame. They are, they are idiots. They are to blame. You know those gas flaring? Do you know how much um guinea of gas within they bomb like that mm -hmm. and if you convert that gas mm -hmm. you fit use and power the, the the entire community comfortably 24 mm -hmm. hours power supply okay it's just a matter of investing more to do the conversion and no, stuff like that and they did not do that they don't, they don't I, I, I don't i don't i don't post okay now my, my question is everything we don't talk to my mm -hmm. Yeah, I might just be honest very true. true. Well, I don't be honest with you that, oh, yes, but this is it. But here's the thing I still believe that the community has a say in this whole wahala. We no, they are ignorant. No, 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 and uh, what's it called? Um, infrastructure wise, which can kind of employment? No, but calm down, calm down. They exist. Calm well, down, calm down. They pay petrochemical, but they pay them now, don't they? Pay them what? Pay them what? Harry, you they talk like say somebody will get money, we be educated, we be very educated, get money, they smart, never take advantage of you before. People never bamboozle you before. Haven't you ever been a vic victim of bamboozling? And look at how smart you are, but you fall victim to bamboozling. People making been so much yeah. money off you. You've been bamboozled. Yes, I've been bamboozled several times. That than me was smart too. Imagine people when no go school. These communities, they no go school. They no get education. They're not enlightened. They no get TV. People when no get electricity, how they want to get TV. No waiting to happen for the world. Somebody come tell them say, I'll tie road for you. I'll do this one for you. Do this one for you. They don't have expectations, so they don't even know what to request. So it is this company's duty, whether or them vandalize the pipeline or not, to protect and secure their pipelines. You cannot put fish in a village filled with rats and tell rats not to chop the fish. You, 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 you tell rats, make you not chop fish, rat no go chop the fish. You will protect the fish from being chopped. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So if you're laying pipelines and you know say they are lured because of poverty and hunger mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. country, they are lured for people to post those pipelines and scoop crude oil, go sell. They're very high. You protect those pipelines. Even if you need to make them bulletproof or boss proof or something, there is a way you can protect them. So what's the role of the government in this? The government, the government, the government has always been irresponsible. irresponsible. Because the government will not take the government will not take the like government will rather the take side with the oil, oil company. Government officials will rather take sides with the oil, uh, uh, oil, oil company, company. Collect brand envelope, look the other, other way, way, and let their people suffer. That's it. That they say there's no there's no other way to put it. Worldwide, it's not just in Nigeria. It happen, you know there's this case of I, I see it a lot in in um, American series where you have a case of environmental um, pollution where you have yeah, a, company, a company, company who will now take toxic waste and dump it somewhere else. You know, we have so it's everywhere in the world. It's everywhere. It's everywhere in the world. So but Nigeria, you know our problem of corruption. You know, there's somebody there who's supposed to the monitor. They have um something so all these committees, committees, uh, mm -hmm. patrols, yeah. all those we have the highest number of committees. committees. Well. 
where their job be to make sure say that issues resulting that these pipelines are safe and the communities where all these um, foreign oil companies they operate in that they are protected that their interests are looked after but those committees the head of those committees the bahamas or rio de janeiro gave vacation permanent vacation and is a senator wanting or something and then hardly around the com community <laughs> then if they talk say you the talk say then they settle the communities now the people where they settle for those communities, if they go like the communities for Niger Delta to go settle person, they are not settling somebody who lives in the Niger Delta. They they settle one no, 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 bloody no, no, guy. No, no, they they settle. Man, you know, I, you know I know this thing. No, they they settle. Okay. They will settle the chief of the village. Okay. The chief will now settle the subordinate. Mm. Subordinate now give it to the youth. The youth now give it to the women. How much? Hmm? How much? Hmm? Is it daily settlement? No. This people, you have not been bamboozled before. I have. It, 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 my God. It's, it's just like you small, you'll be like seven, eight, in fact, six, seven year old. God forbid. You you, you live for this kind of big estate. Now your papa get them. Your papa now die. Who gets you know why I close my eye? You know why I close my eye? Who get that property? No, I close my eyes. You remember that case of the incident that happened in Worry? Okay. Of um, a, a village that the whole farmland was poisoned. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Fish and mm -hmm. everything was mm -hmm. gone. You know, I just closed my eyes and I tried to figure out what did the government do? Nothing. Now, let me explain to you. Your papa now died. You're a small picking. You don't know anything about land ownership, estate handling, this one. One guy come. We are better suited to see that Uncle Lee be for you and stuff like that. He carry mass bars, candy, and things like that. Begin give you carry beer. You know, small picking that yeah, for beer. Beer, beer, you know, you know, beer, beer, give you. You for your mind. That's that's your uncle love you well well. For that your house where you did. Nine good deal. Maybe you could just just carry you go holiday for Lagos or one place another side. Mm. You know, if on fit day for that your house, they give you food. Wow. Now they collect rent from that your papa estate. Wow. wow. You understand? Now he's exploiting your ignorance, saying so you don't know what so, you, so you in get. A, in a way, in a way, in a way. So you would agree with me that it goes beyond just the oil companies and the government. Also, a, 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 what's it called? A, the indigenous themselves. Yes. The fact that they don't know. They don't know. That they have a right to some things. Yes. And that they can actually check. And, and the fact that only the chiefs, now the chiefs, where did they go settle? Before you send people to negotiate with the foreign oil companies on how to, to before they come do business in your community, make sure at least part of the people where they represent the community, one of them is a geologist. Let one of them be a geologist. Let one of them be an environmentist, uh, environmental safety expert. No Let these people other know one, other about... One, other one you're saying is also English. No, you and I know what you're saying is English. I know say that. No, no, I know what you're saying is English. Because the truth is this, the truth is this, um, the truth is this. I don't blame the oil companies. I don't blame the people. I blame now the I blame the government. Blame the government. After all we said, it's the government we blame. We too, we've concluded the government the government is to blame. No, they protect their people. The government get people. Not true. You don't go. True. Let's go down there. Oh, my God.